What is going on everybody? Welcome to Give It An Hour. I'm your host Nathan Hawkins and today we are playing Disco Elysium Final Cut. Um, this was a recommendation from Jeff for us this week. It just came out, just dropped. This uh, game's been getting really good reviews this week so far and uh, I've actually really been looking forward to play this one. So I'm excited. So we'll see how this goes. Let's just jump into it, shall we? Here we go. Oh, select archetype. All right. Okay, so we got Thinker, which is extremely intelligent. We got Sensitive, very psychological. We got Physical, extremely physical, interacts with the world throughout his body, gets things done, but dumb as a rock. <laughs> mm, a magnetic personality, but unstable, might begin to lose his mind. Extremely intelligent, very bad with people, knows interesting facts, comes with original ideas. I'm going to go with the Thinker because, you know, I feel like as a detective, it's probably better to have, um, you know, knowledge. We'll go with we'll go with the thinker. We'll go with the thinker. You can create your own, which is kind of cool. But I kind of want to just go with a one of their one of their own archetypes here. So let's let's do that. Increase the brightness in my screen. It's like really like low here. Furies are at home in the mirror. It is their address. Even the clear water, clearest waters did. Oh, dang it! I missed it because I was trying to change my picture color. Do this. Here we go. That should make it a little bit brighter for me. Whoa! Jeez. Come on. There we go. Wow, that was bright. Begin. There is nothing, only warm primordial blackness. Your conscious ferments in it, no larger than a single grain of malt. You don't have to do anything anymore. <laughs> Ever. Ever. I like that voice. That voice is really cool. Ever. There is nothing. Only warm primordial blackness. <laughs> Never, <laughs> ever. Never, ever. Hmm. Interesting. You don't have to do anything anymore. Ever, never, ever. Never, ever, ever? Never, ever, ever, <laughs> baby. Simply keep on non existing. And an audience amount of time passes. It is utterly void of struggle. No ex-wives are contained <laughs> within it. What was that about the ex-something? An awareness creeps up on you. A mass lies hidden in your dead angle. Soaking in some lurid acidic source, it's bloated and shameful. A ball of meat surrounding you. This is a terrible line of questioning, and it will only lead to more awareness of the meat thing. No, I wanted to know about the X something. X love, X tenderness. It is foolish of you to resurface to the loss. Not after all the damage you've suffered to get here. Some of it irreversible. Stay. Sail with me through the abyss of Pelagic Zone. Alonzi, never let me go. No, I want to get off now. I like pain and burning light and wanting things from people who don't want to give them to me. <laughs> never let me go. Alright. Nothing town to fuck all by. A return trip to the silence, please. Let's visit the ancient Zero home. Look, there's I'm I'm being tired of being this type of animal and who gives a shit? <laughs> what is going on? Do you want me to upgrade that to a one-way trip, sir? Don't stop. Keep singing. Sing me the song of death. The song of death is sweet and endless. But what is this? Somewhere in the sword 
bloated man meet around you. A sensation. Have a sensation, folks. Like a fly to the ointment, your conscience sticks to it. The limbed and headed machine of pain and undignified suffering is firing up again. It wants to walk the desert, hurting, longing, dancing to disco music. <laughs> Mother, help me. There's a head attached to my neck, and I'm in it. The stench of liquor rises from your mouth, and with it, an ungodly head. Help someone cut off my head. It's trying to murder the rest of me. Who am I? What sort of creature does this to their own mouth? A fiery streak penetrates your skull, trying to force your eyes open. It's a sound, a clarion call from hell. Somehow, you know what it is. A Caprice can name a motor carriage. <laughs> I had a feeling that's kind of where I knew it was going. I was having like an existential crisis after being drunk the night before. <laughs> I like how they have the red nose in the corner as if he either fell on it and broke his nose or, you know, he's still drunk, but I doubt it. Okay, so let's, uh, I guess, can we walk around? Okay, so we can move? Okay, cool. So we can actually walk around. That's kind of cool. All right, let's see what this is. I think you can just click, though. That's kind of nice. This magnum-sized bottle of Commodore Red is empty. We'll tab dial. It looks like someone tore out the tape while the song was playing. Oh. Interesting. Oh. Okay, empty cassette tape. This reel-to-reel -reel tape player is still on, rolling empty. Okay, let's see if we can put the tape in then. Uh, <laughs> what? What do I do? Okay, this is this. Okay, I gotta get my bearings here. There used to be a tape in this case, but it was destroyed in a fit of rage. Something about the Etonier's Etonier's single smallest church in Saint Sands must have been rubbed some on the wrong must have rubbed some on the wrong way. The label says the song was recorded in forty three. Okay. Interesting. Hmm. Words fail to describe how rank it smells in here. They should have sent a poet. <laughs> Very nice. You see bottles in the bathtub, wine, beer, and sweet liquor liqueurs. Lovely. Turn the sink off or no? A mirror hangs above a bent and broken sink. In a fierce discharge of masculine energy, someone has ripped half the faucet nice. off. Hot water sprays from the base and steam covers the mirror. You cannot see yourself, just the outline of a man. Suddenly, you realize you have no memory of the face that awaits you there, underneath the soft vapor. As you slowly reach your hand towards the surface of the mirror. Let's get it over with, wipe the mirror. <laughs> Maybe I should touch it first, make sure there's nothing wrong with my face. Better not now, let's just touch my... Yeah, there is definitely <laughs> something wrong with it. Where to even begin? There is the bloatedness, then the swollenness. It's like there's an upholstery of alcohol. I'm sure everything's your fine, touch your nose. At least my tongue is okay, touch your tongue. I'm scared. I want to stop doing this. Wipe the mirror now. I'm out of here. Let's light the mirror. Behold. Behold. <laughs> oh, man. Look at that mug. You have no idea 
who this thing is. Dear Lord, help me. What is this? Of course they do. It's, um, it is some kind of superstar. I think I'm a superstar. This is the face of a late stage alcoholic. (laughs) Too late. You clearly have rigor mortis on your face. Oh, wait. Is that an expression? Are you trying to make an expression with that face? Why? I'm not making it. The face is making itself. I have no idea why it's there. It just is. Please stop. (laughs) It's horrible. You're scaring yourself. Okay. Try to stop. Oh my God. You can't stop. It's like it's not even voluntary anymore. You have worn that grin into your face and now it won't come off. (laughs) Well, that's unfortunate. What does it even mean? What is the emotion you're trying to convey? Superstardom? God, I don't know. It's indescribable. I think it's supposed to look suggestive. I'm afraid it meant it's meant for the ladies. I'm insinuating that I'm vaguely sympathetic. I think I'm sort of pulling it off, too, in a sad, has-been kind of way. There's some charm to it. It's an expression of pain. Interesting. Uh, it's indescribable. Should I say superstardom? Hmm. Yeah. You should check yourself for a pulse. Because from here it looks like <laughs> a cadaverous spasm. You find no sign of life on your swollen neck. However, putting your hand on your chest reveals an irregular heartbeat. You appear to be alive. Encyclopedia. For Formidable 13. Dig deep into your mind to locate the source of the expression. Hmm. Electrochemistry. Impossible 18. Uh, attempt to stop the expression from happening. Let the mirror be for now. Oh, interesting. So I have a very low chance of doing this. Okay. I have a good chance of uh, locating the source of the expression. Like the rest of you, it comes from a bad place mm. somewhere in the past. That's all you okay. know for now. Locked, dig deep into... Okay, dang. So we, we, didn't, uh, we didn't look out on that roll, unfortunately. All right. This one... Lo- oh, we can try this one. Let's just give it... It's very low, so... Yeah. It's too late. Like an image on film. The expression belongs to your primary motor cortex. It would take a minor neurological miracle for you to <laughs> cease producing it. So I guess we'll have to work on our skills then, I guess. Let the mirror be for now. All right. Understood. This guy's got a really bad hangover. Serious tidy whities has got it going on. I feel like we should bathe, but... Okay, we got a coat on. That's that's kind of good. Uh, spirit decor. <laughs> Bonus from items. Is this what the item is? Oh yeah. Okay. Disco ass blazer. Nice. I like it. Looks like someone skinned this blazer off some long extinct disco animal. It has an enigmatic white rectangle on the back and the right sleeve. <laughs> Weird. An interesting choice. So we have five intelligence, one physical, two. Physique and four motorics. How well your body, how well you move your body, how well your body is built. Obviously, that's kind of obvious. Your capacity to reason. All right, health two out of two, morale one out of one. I have a notebook, but no tasks yet. Okay. Let's see here, what's down here? What's this? Is that a broken window? It looks like the window stands broken in its frame cold wind There's blows calculus. in access the dam assess the damage let's do that the shards face outward whatever broke this window Pretty came clearly. from the inside Did I break with my own hands look at them a fine web of scarring covers the back of your right hand but none of it looks it like is recent. Was thrown out the window really more likely a projectile than a held object. There are no fragments on the floor from pulling a tool back in mm. after impact. Make, oh, interesting. That's an interesting way of thinking about it. But what am I doing? Assess the size of the impact. It is too large for a bullet, yet too small for a piece of furniture. You're looking for something heavy and larger like than your fist. Like the green shoe that's on the <laughs> hat rack in the corner, which coincidentally very nice is missing its friend congratulations 
You smashed the window <laughs> with your own shoe. Now you only have ah. one. If you're lucky, you can still find the other on the balcony outside. The door to it should Perfect. be outside your room. Should go and get that shoe. A cool wind gushes in. Your toes curl up from the cold. Nice. Let's go get that one shoe first. Those socks, man. Yep. Okay, got the shoe. Go put some pants on. Were those pants there the whole time, or did I just not recognize them? I should have my pants on first. Okay, I guess that works. You hear a jingle. Keys are clinking in the pocket of your clear-cut pants. It says whirling in rags on the aluminium key ring. There is a single key on the ring. The number one is etched on it. It should open the door. The whirling in rags is a hostel cafeteria on the urban hmm. coast, frequented by dock Interesting. workers. Interesting, so he has a, um, a key ring to a cafeteria <laughs> that's on the urban coast. Interesting, all right. Frequented by dock workers. I wonder, what is that up top? What is that? Is that a tie? Is that a tie that's on the, the fan? This fan has two chain pull switches. One ends in a tiny fan, the other in a light bulb. A truly horrific necktie has somehow <laughs> attached itself to mm -hmm. one of the blades. Let's give it a shot. Woo! You yeah. swoop up and catch the tie. Snap. It's released oh. from the blade. What you have in your hand is a truly hideous necktie with four or five different patterns. The knot reminds you of a noose. Oh, man. All right, let's leave that alone. Don't need to turn it off, do we? Your tabs, there anything else to look at? Shattered window. What's that? Is that a shirt? I should put a shirt on. I didn't realize I just put a jacket on without a shirt. Let's do that. Let's put a shirt on. All right, cool. Hope he gets his hangover over with soon, because I'm really not enjoying this uh, slow staggering. <laughs> I, I appreciate the realism, though. I do appreciate that. Let's try. Let's see if we can get to this door here. Now, oh, okay, now we're gonna start running. Okay. Wait. How do I get to the balcony? Oh, probably the balcony's somewhere else. What day is it? The calendar says it's March this year. is The year is 51. 1951. All right. What's this? There's something on the table. Money. Oh, sweet. Revocal zone of control. Zero degree centigrade. Black ice warning. Is that like what's playing on the radio? Sweet. Got 40 cents. Whatever you want to call it. I don't even know where we are. Oh wait, can this take us to the balcony? Yes it can. Sweet. Let's go get our shoe. <clears throat> Whoa, okay. Aha, there it is. We got our shoe. Gust of briny wind washes over you. The art style is really cool. Like it almost looks like it's all painted. Kind of cool. Almost like almost like a watercolor painting. It's very interesting. Okay. Hello, officer. Oh, hello. The young woman raises a cigarette to her lips. Her eyes are brown and her face is speckled with birthmarks. She can't be more than 28. A silver jumpsuit falls off her like scale armor, sparkling. This is the sparkle of too many nights out on the city. Officer, my military personnel? Turn your bloated face away from her beauty and just keep on walking. Uh, no. She seems perplexed by your question. 
Wait, I know. I'm a businessman. Chief executive officer, right? <laughs> the young woman <laughs> shakes her head slowly. Officer could be an artistic statement. A claim to Officer is my stage renown. name, right? I can see them. I can see myself as a, as a middling disco artist called the officer. That's too wild. Chief technical officer is what I am. Hmm. No, you're a police officer, sir. <laughs> Are you sure? You're shitting me. Goddamn right, I'm a policeman, and don't you forget it. I'm gonna say you're shitting me. I'm not, unless you've been shitting <laughs> us all this time. All this time? You've been here for three days on official police business. And what no business less. is that? I couldn't say. In truth, so far, mostly drinking. You have no doubt about the drinking, but do you strike yourself as a tight-lipped drunk? She must have heard something. Mm, dang. I'm really not liking the fact that these suggestions are really low of chance. This is a red check. It cannot be retried. Now hold on to that. Maybe we can. Maybe we can succeed at that stuff later. You have no doubt about the drinking, but. You just strike yourself. Okay, interesting. So, oh, that's interesting. So I think maybe I used logic based on her statement. I'm still trying to figure out how this works. Like whether, like based on my my, attrib my attributes, he's making some decisions or this is just something he would do regardless of what archetype you have. I'm not sure yet. Um, so I might not know where I am or who I am or what a Kupri ki Kinema is, Kinema. How, how I know what it what one sounds like. Why don't I remember being a cop or anything else? Who in their right mind would let me be an officer of the law? I should get going now. Hmm. Don't be so harsh on yourself. They let almost anyone be a police officer. Why don't I remember being a cop or anything else? Could it be because of the drinking? Maybe. She hasn't had time to put her makeup on. This is her morning cigarette. She looks tired. Her beauty waning faster than it ought to at her age. I might not know where I am or who I am or what a Kupri Kinema is. Oh, I know what one sounds like. She nods. She nods. But I do know when someone's not telling me the whole story. What am I doing here? What's my case? There's a mercenary out back. He's been hanged. The body has been there for a week now. The locals probably got tired of it and called the cops. Why didn't you just tell me that? <laughs> I didn't mean to overwhelm you with information. You seem a bit lost, hmm. officer. Okay, I'm going to go with, uh, I should get going now. Of course. Be careful, officer. They don't like the police I'll around just fail here. fail if I try to do that other one. Something stirs in you as she's about to go. Call it an instinct, a need, the need to ask questions. It's like you've said the words a million times before. She looks back at you, a light glinting off her eyes. Before you eyes. go, I have some questions for you. Yes? What is it that they have against the police here? Where exactly is here? Where am I? Tell me, is it 51 now? Your room is almost next to mine. Did you hear anything last night? There was the usual ruckus. Loud disco Did I have music. any visitors? I couldn't say. It's impossible to hear people speaking from over here. Loud disco music? Oh, yes. Various artists. Ostentatious orchestration prime among them. She raises an eyebrow waiting for the name to connect with you. Oh, that. Yeah. Whoa. The less said about OO, <laughs> the better. OO were huge where I come from. I was very young then, of course, like seven. Life gets hard, but we <laughs> go on. Yeah, we go on, all right. It mostly just gets hard, doesn't it? Hmm. I don't know about that. At around two o'clock, the disco stopped, and there was what a change happened? of pace. A slow, sad song started playing, like organ music on repeat. 
That went on for quite a while. Some of the time you were yelling. Was I along singing to this? It. Show her the empty case of the smallest church in St. Sands. What was I singing? I've heard enough. I'll show her the tape. Yes, there was a church in there. There you go. A really small church. Like the smallest, saddest church in the whole world. It was about that. And also. What else? That it doesn't matter anymore and that we're alone now. It was difficult to tell. The song itself is very quiet and soft, but you sounded like a <laughs> wounded boar, sir. It was hard to understand what you were singing on top of it. I'm sorry. When you say wounded, do you mean that in a cool way, like a wild beast? Then what happened? I've heard enough. <laughs> uh, when you say wounded, do you mean that in a cool way, like a wild beast? Yes. It was very <laughs> cool. It's impossible to say whether she's being sarcastic or <laughs> then what really happened? means it. Then you started screaming. Are you sure I wasn't being place. assaulted? That's so me. What did I do? You're making this up. I would never behave like that. Are you sure I wasn't being assaulted? No. It didn't sound like there was a fight. It sounded I mean, like someone was it, trashing That's kind of what room. I assumed. You know, the drunken stupor. A window was smashed. The tape player, probably. The song stopped. And furniture, too. <laughs> a real destructathon. That's a good word. There was screaming. Then I think uh, you passed um, out. Was there anything else? Please tell me there wasn't anything else. It prides me here to hear this. Tell me there was more. <laughs> it prides me. I've heard enough. Tell me there was more. There was. I think you screamed that you didn't want to be this type of animal anymore. I may have misheard, but it was sort of memorable. I went out afterwards. Everything was quiet by then. Around four or five. What is it and that they hate against, have against the police here? Where exactly is here? Where am I? Let's ask that question. You're mm. in a hostel, sir. All right. No, where Where are we? Where in the world? Oh, Revishol. Okay. Revishol. That helps me. Revishol is the disgraced mm. former capital of the world. Divided into zones of control under foreign occupation. Half a century after a failed world revolution, she is central to our Did that mean something time. to me? Revishal forever? How about you tell me something else instead? Should that mean something to me? You sure look like you're from Revishal. <laughs> Revishal parties. Her accent suggests Definitely she's not. not from around here. Okay. She's from Aranye, <laughs> another What is it that they have against the police here? The dock workers are pretty cocky. They think they're police enough. At least here on the coast. I can't say about the rest of the okay. city. Okay, tell me, is it 51 now? There you it's go. What century? The current <laughs> That's century? What? what number? Centuries don't have numbers. They have names. And How many centuries have the there been one? Then? Civilization has existed for 8,000 years. What's so sir. funny? You're right. There is nothing funny you about civilization. All right, you can go now. Glad to have Thank been you, of assistance. Whatever her name is, Class, Class J? Interesting. Glad to have been of assistance. All right. What's this? Oh, her ashtray. Looks like she left a nice long stub in the ashtray. It's still smoking. I put it out, huh? There they both are. Two identical <laughs> shoes, both copiously green and indiscriminately snakeskin, reunited Beautiful. on your feet, like two baby crocodiles. Wait, these do not look like normal cop shoes. How do they fit? Discard, though. Or di discard thought. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> it's pretty clear a normal That's a good cop point. is not what How do you they are. fit? Good. They're balanced. Comfy. Feels like the only good thing about you right now. I feel like we're going to have to change clothes. And that clo the clothes we wear is going to be dependent on our skill level. That's kind of cool. <clears throat> Alright, what's this? This is the weekend edition of the satirical newspaper, Trompe Le Monde. Interesting. I'm guessing Ravishal is a uh, French? Oh, what was that? What was that little... Okay, I'm confused. <laughs> oh, I see. 
That's what it's trying to tell me. Take the stairs. You can sleep after 21. Sleeping heals all your health and morale. Okay, cool. That's cool. So there's a sleep system. That's pretty nifty. I like that little bit of more grounded realism. Using the wrong key there. So this, this is where the lyrics should be, or would be. Can I do karaoke? The big old karaoke mic just waiting for someone to sing into it. Can I do it? No, probably not. Of course not. <clears throat> the speaker is connected to the radio. The music is seasoned with static. <laughs> you should totally sing karaoke here. There you the go. First chance you get. Your emotions need to be expressed. People need to know your vast. My soul is immense. Oceanic, my soul is so. modest. It's normal size. My soul is puny. My soul's cubic content is obscured by the hangover. <laughs> <clears throat> Utterly. And yes, it, it needs does. To be heard through a PA system. <laughs> this goes well people. with a theory I'm developing that I'm a down on my luck superstar person. What should I sing when it comes to it? You should sing the sad small church hmm. song from that tape. Thought it was found. obvious. Of course, they'll really obvious. get a, a gauge on my soul with that one. I was thinking maybe I could sing something happy, like from the those ostentatious orchestration folks. <clears throat> no, no, don't sing the happy song. It's stupid. <laughs> it's profound. Sing the sad song. It's profound. You would uh, need another copy of the tape right. first, though. Interesting. The one upstairs is destroyed. Okay. This goes well with the theorem I'm developing that I'm a down on my luck superstar person. Who is mistakenly identified as a cop for his <laughs> prominent jawline? Yes, likely, likely. Sounds likely. You should probably go on stage and pose for a moment when you're done with this thought. Finish thought. See Can I pose works. on stage? This feels right. You belong here. Nice. So I can't pose. Let's see what's this. Sing karaoke. Okay, cool. So that's a task now. That's awesome. So I need to find the tragic tape. And then play it on a boombox to memorize the lyrics. Then ask the cafeteria manager to perform. That's hilarious. This is so random. Uh, map. Okay, interesting. Oh, this is probably a map of... These are found white checks. Those are on white are available to try now. Okay, interesting. Uh, officer profile incomplete. Right. We still don't know who the hell we are. What's this? Do we have something new? Conceptualiza oh, bonuses from items. Interesting. Conceptualizations, Inland Empire, Suggestion, the Spirit Decor. Oh, that's cool. So these are like the actual point systems. Savoir Faire. Which is the Savoir Faire? Oh, we need to lose these pants then. Interesting. <clears throat> right, so we're basically better with we're better off without the pants, is what they're saying. A man. In his late twenties, stands behind the counter, inspecting a <laughs> stuffed seabird. As you approach, he gives you a sideways glance, then looks down again. Everything is cool between you and this guy. He's a big fan. Are you the bartender? No, I'm not the bartender. I'm the cafeteria manager. He's very animated all of a sudden. Mm. This seems like a Understood. touchy subject. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Look at the stuffed bird. A competent work of taxidermy. The white and brown seabird lies among piles of coasters and drying mugs. One of its wings broken. The man is trying to mend it. Looks like the bird was ripped off the shield that was mm. used to mount it, most likely on a wall. This is the great skewer. The seabird is the symbol for the discovery of the Insulindian Isola the part of the world you are in right now. The small steel tag says as much. The Great Skua. Stay what happened to the bird? Skua. Can I help you with that? That's the Great Skua, right? I'll say that. Look, your buddy <laughs> is over <laughs> make small there. Talk. He looks at the door where a man in a bomber jacket is tapping his foot on the floor. Why don't you go and talk oh, to him? I just want to okay. chat, all right. What do you mean my, mean my buddy? I'm a cop and I can talk to whomever I please. What do you mean, my buddy? He pretends not to hear you, concentrating on the bird instead. <laughs> Looks at the stuffed bird. Oh, are you? Hey, leave. Fine, fine. These guys want to talk to us. Be that way. 
on the menu. The menu has been wiped clean. Only the word Monday is written on it. So it is Monday. A woman's hand wrote yesterday's menu. Today's start... Today's starts in a man's handwriting. Interesting. wonder how we can tell the difference. Take a fire extinguisher. Healing item gained. Interesting. This is a water cooler. A large bubble is rising to the surface. Inside you catch a glimpse of Union paraphernalia, a strike poster, and some red pennants. What's this? Sign reads, Mess Hall Reserved for Union Members. Doors open, 1600. This royal pinball machine is unplugged. <laughs> what? That's a pinball machine? Interesting. Does those doors lead out? Do I have to go outside? Hello. Hello, Lena, sweetie. the cryptozoologist's wife. <laughs> what? You shouldn't keep your colleague okay, waiting. Okay, fine. Be that way. Ma'am, this must be my buddy. A bespectacled man in an orange bomber jacket is tapping his foot on the floor. Looks like he's waiting for someone. You. As you approach, he narrows his eyes and extends mm. his hand in greeting. On the sleeve of his bomber jacket, as well as on its back, are the same enigmatic white rectangles as on your blazer. Shake his hand. Hello. I'm Kim Kitsuragi, Lieutenant, Precinct 57. You must be from the 41st. You realize he's oh, waiting no. for your name. Invent a name yourself? <laughs> That's really high. <laughs> I just call me officer. I don't really know my name. Say nothing. Make a name for yourself. Why not? Why is it negative one? Partial to the officer? Okay. Concentration makes Why not? you squint your eyes. Your name should be deep gold and orange, like a forest fire looming on the horizon, but mixed with the stench of liquor rising from your breath. You're <laughs> two steps closer to it, but mm, they are still Okay, so they don't want go. me to do that. It is not yet time. Okay, then. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like we had a little skidding error on Sunday. Saturday, too, actually. Have you had time to talk to the manager here? What he means is, he has been trying to meet mm. up with you for two days, but you have been gotcha. otherwise You mean occupied. him? Not toward the cafeteria manager? Yeah, I just talked to him. No, I haven't. There must be some kind of misunderstanding. You're taking me for someone else. Here, I'll do this one. If you don't mind, we should talk to him again. Ask him for a rundown of the area. Now that I'm here as well. I understand the scene is out back, right? It also wouldn't hurt to assure him the police are finally here. In full force, I mean. Have you mapped out the initial uh, Yes, interview? police. I'm aware I'm a policeman. <laughs> uh... What interviews? At the 57th, we like to prepare an initial list of persons of interest, and then just skim the surface. Prepare the field, get to know the players. You don't do that? Maybe it's not an inter-district practice. I haven't. Okay, we'll have time for that after we take a look right. at the coroner's case. Have you removed the dead body from the tree? No. So, <laughs> the body is still in the tree, <laughs> where it has been hanging for seven days straight. We should go there as soon as we are done talking to the owner. <laughs> That's hilarious. It's seven days. What if I told you I'm really not a police officer? How can you be sure, so sure I'm from the police? But I can't remember anything. What were we supposed to do again? Let's get going then. Uh, what if I told you I'm not really a police officer? We all feel that way sometimes. There is no such thing as a police officer, I'm afraid. What remains is that there is a dead body in the tree. Someone has to figure out who put it there. If we That's don't, a really good no point. That's like profound. Like no such thing as a police officer. It just comes down to someone's got to do it and that's going to be you. <laughs> and then soon after, dead bodies would be dangling mm. from all the trees. But first, we right. have to take it down. Um I can't remember anything. 
I can yes. see you drank last mm -hmm. night and the night before, and that <laughs> you are still drunk now. But I have seen officers go through worse. This is aware. Much worse. If you need something for your headache, there okay. is a general store nearby. But as I said, the dead body should be on yes, number probably. one concern. <laughs> okay, interview you, cafeteria officer. manager, inspect victim's body. Okay. If you're about to embark on an investigation, shouldn't Wait, you shouldn't have I have a badge, badge or something? Check your pockets. You mean it you wasn't on me when I woke badge. up. Pretend you found it. I have my badge. I'm a policeman and I have my badge. <laughs> it wasn't on me when I woke up. Losing your identification card is a serious matter. My vehicle has a shortwave. You can use it to report your badge missing. I advise you to try to locate it as quickly as possible. But getting the body down we... should still take precedence. Alright, let's go talk to... I was using the wrong keys, once again. Let's interview this guy. The man with the unimpressive, <laughs> unimpressive beard, beard notices you approaching. <clears throat> He drops the ledger he was holding and turns to the lieutenant. Mr. Gart, right? Lieutenant glances into his little notebook. You run this place? Yes. I am Kim Kitsuragi from Precinct 57. This is an inter-district investigation. So joining me from Precinct 41. So you're realizing he still doesn't know your name. The Harbinger of Ruin. What is golden orange like a forest fire, but smells like liquor? I'm currently in between names. I like that. Fantastic. It's like when you've left your, your your band, but you haven't decided on a solo artist name yet. Kim is about to say something. Let him. <laughs> oh, I'm going to say it. It's like when you've left your band, but you haven't decided on a solo artist name yet. That's wonderful. Really. I think so. But there's a dead body up there. No one <laughs> wants to week. work in these conditions. It's been a week. Sir, I understand your concern, but we are here to do a job. And for us to do it, I need you to stay calm. Yes, of course. Takes a step back. <clears throat> I know it took us a while to arrive at the scene, but it also took you a while to call us. It was you who placed the call, correct? No, I only just got here. It was probably Sylvie who called you. She usually works the bar here. I'm only temporarily taking over her duties. Do you have her number? As a matter of fact, Let's I find do. a pile of coasters, finds a slip of paper, and hands to the lieutenant. This sounds like something you can use to Definitely call does. Sylvie later. You said you just got here. From where? Are you a local? What, of Martinez? No, I live in Jamrock. I only sometimes come here to keep an eye on the place. This is just one of the many, many mm. cafeterias I manage. But you still know your way around, yes? In case we need directions. Yes, I know where some things are, but as I said, I don't live here. I just used to work here. And I'm not going to start working here again, <laughs> if that's what you think. I didn't imply that. Yes. Detective. He probably means this is where you step in and ask <laughs> Who, <me? laughs> your questions. Uh, right then, questions. I got this. His face expresses profound having doubt this. in your having this. Ask him about the body's location before asking nice. if he killed him. People give up information right. in the more innocuous questions, which you can later use that in makes the sense. more sinister ones, yeah. not vice versa. Uh, where exactly is the body? Behind this building, there's a courtyard. They hoisted him up on a tree Okay, there. and how do we get there then? That's easy. See that door there? First you exit through that. Then, to your right, you should see a big hole in the fence. A really big one. You can get to the courtyard through there. No need for the keys. The hole is big enough for the Franco-Nigerian cavalry to fit through. This man means the heavy cavalry of the innocent Franco-Negro, sweeping over the plains and nations of the enemies of mankind, 5th century style. Unified currency and the concept of cool came in their wake. They wore lamella and carried guns. But first and foremost, Franco-Nigerian heavy cavalry was really, really wide. That hole in the fence must be enormous. <laughs> uh, why did Sylvie go away? I'll say who killed him. No, yeah, why did Sylvie go away? She went away because none wow. of your business. 
Have they not been telling you you're a cop? Am I not a cop? Everything's my business. <laughs> okay, you got me. She went away because of the dead body out back. And because I asked for her number. Ooh. That's why Sylvie went away. That's Hope awkward. You'll appreciate that. Thank you. Didn't go well? <laughs> I asked an employee out. She didn't want to come, but felt obliged to. It was a bad idea. Now, what is so goddamn fascinating about that for you? It's got nothing this to do with the This stuff gets on my mention. nerves. I'm a feminist. <laughs> I guess I like to be that thorough. Everything has something to do with everything. I don't know. I just went for it. You're right. I probably shouldn't have asked. So everything has something to do with every. Everything has something to do with everything. Good for you. Uh, who killed was there something else? Who, who killed like him? Back to what I was doing. Was it you? Who killed him? I don't know who killed him. I'm not the police. Mm. That's your job. This is it. He said they hoisted yeah, who him is up they? on a tree. Who is mm. this they, Good if point. he doesn't know? Before you said they hoisted him up on a tree, who do you mean by, who did you mean by they? Uh, oh, people are saying it was the union dock workers, that it was a lynching. Mm. Who exactly is saying that? The locals, the customers, the people who eat here, a lot of dock workers eat here. Sylvie told me everyone knows the dock workers did it. Did the debarders themselves tell her this, or is it a rumor? I don't really know. You'll have to ask Why would the dock her. workers lynch this man? I would suppose it's because they have nothing better to do. You mean the strike? Yes, the strike. The man they hanged was a security guard for the harbor company, I hear. A mercenary. The unionists probably thought they'd send mm, a message. Interesting. Did you kill him? What are you, crazy? Of course I didn't kill him. <laughs> I have another question. The lieutenant turns the page in the little notebook he's That's been all. scribbling in. Let's Gain go. experience 30. All right. Task complete interview cafeteria manager. Let's go. Not so fast. You owe me 130 <laughs> real. Slip away unnoticed. <laughs> I don't know you shit. What's real? One moment you're running like the wind, then you've suddenly turned around and are giving him the finger, <laughs> furiously, with both hands. Lady Wilcher is right behind me, isn't she? Why did I do this? Why did I have to use both my hands to flip them all? <laughs> you asshole! <laughs> oh my god, this is hilarious! The lady in the wheelchair is right behind me, isn't she? That's true. Yes. And it's worrying. But let's not fixate on it. Look at that stupid bartender instead. He has no idea what's going on. You and your fuck you fingers floating in the air. Bar keeps got his mouth You showed like him. Idiot. Why did I do this? Why did I have to use both my hands to flip him off? Why both? Watch out! Oh god. Oh no. Uh, Everything goes dark. Back so oh no. soon. Oh no, had an accident. So worth it. This did not need to happen. I gave no such commands to my body. <laughs> Those are mysteries of the spinal cord. The spinal cord has yet to reveal itself to you. Its mysteries are unholy Wow, there's mysteries. more of you? Hidden? I'm so cool. I don't know. That just comes off as a lazy effort at reconceptualizing the antics of a shambling drunk. If it comes off like that, it's because it is. And mm, you okay. are. I was wrong to let you go. I should have kept you here. Is it bright where you are? Is it terrifying have you felt sure enough? as hell haven't felt no love it's okay it's going fine what do you mean it doesn't look so <laughs> sweetie are you okay <laughs> oh <laughs> no, you have sustained a trauma to your lower neck in addition 
your strength. I do your have that uh, fire extinguisher. Pain surges down your back. Ouch. You move. No, are you okay? The chair took the brunt of it. Oh my god. Don't worry. Oh my god. Are you sure, man? Yes, yes. Check on him. Sir, I didn't I didn't mean for this to happen. I'm sorry. This has always been a cop friendly place. <laughs> The drinks are on the house, okay? There were a lot of drinks on the tab. I still have to charge you for three nights and the broken window, though. Uh, that's a hundred square. He's shaken. Barton now, and cool. he'll cave in. Not entirely cool. You <laughs> still owe me a hundred real. <laughs> if you don't have it by tonight, I can't let you All back right. up there. And for God's means sake, I gotta find a hundred real. Pay for damages and for God's sake, watch yourself. That's so funny. What's in here? All right, inspect victim's body, report your badge missing, who made the call reporting the crime. Um, if I find who it was, it was me. Shoot the badge. Pay for damages. Okay. <clears throat> okay. That's all the done stuff. Okay, cool. That's so funny. I can't believe I did that. That was hilarious. By the way, where is home? The address is coming up blank, and this place sure is. Do I even have one? I have no idea. But you've been at this hostel cafeteria That's for true. only three nights. Where were you before? You had I don't know. to be Near? somewhere. South, maybe? Far away? Up on Marvel Hill. <clears throat> Why did you say I don't that? Know. Is there just synapses firing? It doesn't mean anything. The name must, must have, mean, have, have some meaning for me. Uh, Lieutenant Kitsuragi, do you know a place called Marvel Hill? <clears throat> no. But isn't that an expression, not a place? An expression? A saying. Up on Marvel Hill. Oh, yeah. Hill, a great high place. One that is impossible to climb back to. That doesn't sound like somewhere you can stay <laughs> if you run <laughs> Can I trace money? the way back somehow to the exact street, the exact number on a building? I'll live in a dumpster. I don't care. Fuck everything. Hobo cop. <laughs> I'll do the could I trace the way back somehow. You can try. Run some addresses in your head All right. when you get the time. Oh, that's Maybe cool. What's this? Or an apartment will Interesting. Appear. What is all this? Some way home. Let's rewind. Let's trace your drunken steps back home. Jump across the raised channel bridge southwest of here. Fall over. Get up. Get off the asphalt in 20 minutes. Shuffle your feet through courtyards, scaring little children. Go under the great raised motor track, the 881 until you reach Le Domaine Eminent and North Jamrock. The streets are frozen this time of year, caked with ice. Walk down Main to Perdition. There's a side alley there and your footprints in the mud. Interesting. Internalize. Research time, six hours and five minutes. What? Wow. Okay, probably don't have time to do that right now. That's crazy, though. That's something I can do later. That's really cool. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, so we go out this way. Let's go out the back door. Let's go. Let's go get the body down. I guess it's kind of important. The soft purr of an electric juicer comes from the kitchen. Someone's working. Someone's working. Oh, this isn't the. He said go. He did say go. Go at the back door. Oh. <laughs> okay. Never mind. <clears throat> they said go at the back door. But summer door closed for the winter. Um, we want to get out though. We have to go out this way, like. The door here? Yeah, I guess so. Oh, yeah. To your left. The door to your left, make a right. Go through the fence, the big hole in the fence. It's a big asshole, apparently. <clears throat> <clears throat> Okay. So let's just go to the body. Oh, that is a big hole. You see a set of tire mm -hmm. tracks in the brown slush that covers the plaza mosaic. Uh, what kind of vehicle drove through here? Reconstruct the movement. Damn it. No. These tracks are okay. not interesting at all. Let the streets all right, fine. Just sweep them away. What kind of vehicle away. drove through here? Hard to say. Your vision is blurred, 
and you're having difficulty concentrating thanks to your <laughs> relentless hangover. Why am I looking at this? Cop habit. You look Fair at enough. everything. This isn't case related. All right. You think? Fine. And you can walk just by holding shift. That's kind of nice, actually. So, what's that? Oh, it's just it's nothing important. What's this? There are several footprints in the mud, left by work boots. Anywhere from six to twelve pairs have walked here. Kind of boots. <clears throat> Heavy workers' boots with reinforced toes and hobnails all, all right. over the yard. Isn't this something an industrial yes, it worker would. would wear? Lieutenant workers' boots tracks. Yep. Noted. Uh, get an exact count. Mm, it's high. Nice. Maybe more than 12. No. Eight pairs of boots have shuffled wow. back and forth. Go over them the one by one. One. Standard work boot, steel reinforced toes, number 46. Two, standard work boot, steel reinforced toes, number 44. Three, hobnailed work boot, steel reinforced toes, number 43. Four, wow. standard work boot, number 45 or 46. 45, 46. So these are sizes. This is European size. So this is... Uh... 46 is a 12. Interesting how I know this stuff. <laughs> I wonder if Jeff's going to mention this too. 44 is a, a, a 10. 45 is an 11. 46 is a 12. 47 is a 13. So on and so forth. You don't know. It's a miracle you can tell the prints apart as it is. That is impressive. The cold must have preserved them. Five. Another standard work boot. Steel reinforced toes. There you go. Number 44. Six. An number aberration. 41. Light as air. Even pace. Same make of boot. So, so this person has a really 41. small shoe. 41 is a, uh, um, what a seven? A men's seven, technically? Because women's, women's sizes are in the 30s, technically. Unless, unless it's a woman that's wearing a, uh, a men's seven basically or oh it's or it's a women's 11 yeah i think it's a women's 11 or something uh male or female yeah you can't tell impossible to tell could mm. also have been an adolescent the gate is undeveloped the gate is undeveloped okay i'm pretty good at this ain't i <laughs> you're not bad it's as if the whole world darkens everything else has a thin film of unimportance on it and the tracks burn in the middle of it, in a strange, beautiful seven. The glowing outline of a standard work boot, number forty-six. Mm. But the imprints are twice so as deep person. as the others. The weight exceeds wow. two hundred kilograms. Eight, and yet another standard work boot, number forty-four. There's an aberration in the pattern of the sole, however. The right hmm. sole is smoother. So either they have a limp, worn. or they're missing a leg. <laughs> Interesting. Well, no, they're not missing a leg because they're. They said the right sole is smoother, more worn. So that means that they they must have a limp, or they just put more weight on their right their right leg. How many? Eight. Four hundred million. I was pretty off then. Same guys are going back and forth. Way off. Way. <laughs> mm -hmm. This man oh, is not mean to easily say toyed with. I never got the hang of it. Hyperopia. Do you see anything out of uh, the ordinary? Light set number 41. A heavy one. 200 kilogram imprint. An aberration. One sole smooth than the other. How old do you think these tracks are? Um... Two hundred. Could it be the combined weight of two people, one oh, carrying the other who's tied up? Let's say a heavily built worker carrying a similarly Didn't built. Didn't think about that. Soon to be Could have been carrying the person. That would actually make sense. He might be right. Two hundred kilograms of living weight okay. is unlikely. Well, I mean, you don't know. You don't know. Although you know, if this were America, then that would be very likely. <laughs> 
One of them was carrying him over. Maybe it was a giant. It could have been an actually a beast person. Exactly. That's what I was going to say. But I could say that too. It could have been, it could have been though. You never know. From here, the boot the victim wears. He tries to continue. It's Oof. bad. Very bad. Before you can heave, the wind changes direction again. The greenhouse plastic flapping in its gusts. Uh, he appears to be wearing some kind of armored boots. I can't see any exotic prints here. Someone had okay. to carry him. Are any of the other prints deep enough? No. An obese You're person right. is becoming so one of them was carrying him over. Possibly, <clears throat> yes. But why? You're thinking, why did they have to carry him? Yes, they could have used a makeshift stretcher mm -hmm. or just march him up to the gallows. Maybe the victim refused to walk to his own lynching? Maybe the victim wasn't conscious? Yeah. Even easier to carry on a stretcher or between two right. men. Anyway, it's for uh, future consideration. Uh, light step, number 41 shoe. <clears throat> right. A woman or a kid? I was thinking woman, but... A 41, that's that's a... That's a men's seven, so that'd be a that'd be actually a large woman's shoe. At least unless this unless I'm unless their their sizing is different. Uh I don't think there's any way to be sure. <clears throat> Understood. Anything else? Actually let's go back. Could be a kid. A woman or a kid? Okay. How do you know? He knows it's hard to discern sex from a person's gait. Uh I'm just saying random things like <laughs> Looking at holes in the mud, I have no idea where any of this is coming from. <clears throat> okay, okay, an aberration, one soul smoother than the other. Interesting. Let's name it the Let's odd name it soul. the odd soul. Do you have any ideas, Lieutenant? Someone operating a workbench oh, with a pedal? That's a good like idea. A joiner at the harbor. A drummer, or maybe that's a stupid. Drummer? So one of the people we're looking for, we were looking for is a drummer? <laughs> no, it's not. Forget I said it. We are not looking for a drummer. <clears throat> Perhaps it could be a driver. A driver would wear That's true. the right shoe before the left. The accelerator is I was actually right. thinking the exact same thing. <clears throat> Interesting. If only I had to come up with that idea. No, not thoughtfully. We should keep our eyes open around the traffic jam. See whether anyone strikes out as a potential suspect. Seems prudent, no? I'm not sure. We don't want to attract too much attention. You're right. Let's keep a low profile. How old do you think these tracks are? A week, maybe? Seven days would fit the time frame provided That's to crazy by how the they're caller still there. who reported the hanging. It is not impossible. How do you know? I pulled last week's forecast for coastal Havasha. Seven mm -hmm. days below freezing. The day before, the day of his hanging, Interesting. was the last warm day. Correct again. Sub-zero temperatures would preserve the tracks in a good state. The commotion here could have taken place a week ago. What do you think happened here? What do I think? A mob of people brought something heavy to the tree. One of them was carrying the victim. They shuffled around, especially under the I tree. Are throwing rocks at this body? That's what it looks like. Then, after hoisting him up, they stood in a semicircle facing his direction. At first glance, sure. this appears to be a lynching. Indeed. They all stood in a row here and Crazy. looked at the tree. Yes, everything fits so well. Carried him over, hoisted him up, watched him hang. This is fucked up. This is easy. I think we have a firm understanding of what happened here. The lieutenant's eyes narrow. He's thinking to himself. Either way. We've what been else? through all of it. <clears throat> Alright, I think my hour is up. Uh, so we're going to call it there. Thank you for watching this hour of Disco Elysium, the final cut. Um, if you want to hear my thoughts on the game, be sure to listen to the, the latest episode of Backlog and Beyond, which all the links will be below. Uh, and uh, thank you for hanging out with me. And uh, we'll, see if this, we'll see if I'll add this to my backlog or not. Take care, everybody. Have a good one.